Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I built this bathroom corner cabinet. After measuring the space available in the bathroom, I cut down all the wood that I needed for this project, the shelves, the top of the cabinet, the legs and a couple of pieces to connect the legs. I measured the size of the skirting board and I cut it out from the three legs. In this way the cabinet will sit on the skirting board and there will be no empty space between the wall and the legs. The leg in the corner needed to be cut in a way that can fit onto the skirting board. I marked the area that needs to be cut out. I used my jigsaw for these cuts, this was the easiest way in this case. Then I sanded all of them and I applied a coat of light oak wood stain. I drilled pocket holes into the wood that will connect the legs and underneath the shelves. Then I started to build the structure, starting off with connecting the legs. Here I just had to be careful to make sure everything is flush with each other and the angles are exactly 90 degrees. It was very handy to have a longer clamp, it made my job much easier. After I built the main structure, I added the shelves to it. Here I used my smaller clamps to hold and keep them flush with each other. After checking that everything fits perfectly, I removed the shelves and I added the edge bending, then I screwed them back on. I used pine boards for the doors and for the top of the cabinet. My original plan was to cut the edges of the doors in a 45 degrees angle to make them flush with the edges of the cabinet, but that didn't work well, so I came up with a different idea, which I will show you in a bit. I sanded and added a coat of stain to the doors as well, just like the rest of the cabinet.
then I installed the hinges on the doors. Later on I turned these the other way around to be able to close the doors. Very important to drill pilot holes to prevent the wood from sweating. Screwing them to the cabinet was straightforward, here I had to make sure that the bottom of the doors are flush with the bottom of the cabinet. As a next step I added these push to open door catches. Very simple, magnets on the doors and the catches underneath the top of the cabinet. Because my first idea didn't work out, I cut, sanded and stained a small piece of wood that will be over the door since they are standing out. This piece will make them look flush with the top of the cabinet. I simply used my wood glue here and clamps to hold it while the glue dried. This didn't give the best look for the cabinet, but because of the problem with my circular saw, I had to come up with a simple yet better idea. Lastly, I added some brackets to the bottom, these will secure and hold the cabinet. As always, thank you for watching. If you like our content, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow and hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload the next one. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram.